Hello guys, and welcome back to another tutorial, and today we're going to be starting a new series that will be recreating Minecraft, the popular game Minecraft. So if you don't know what that is, this is, this is the game right here. Many people know what it is, it's a very popular game with millions, billions of downloads on many different consoles, and also on uh, the PC. So we're going to be creating this really popular game in Unity 3D, and we're going to be doing everything from terrain generation all the way to an inventory system with animals that walk around. So let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So now that we have opened Unity up, what we can do is go ahead and import a package. So this package is our terrain generation package, right here. Okay. It's going to be in the description below, so just go ahead and double click that, download it first, and it will be from Dropbox. Now, so this package is actually a package that somebody else created. It's a voxel terrain generation package that wasn't up to date. So it wasn't up to date to Unity 5.6, and there was a couple of issues in there. So I had to go through and update everything, and I also did a couple of improvements. And those, those improvements are important or else it really won't work very well. So go ahead and import that package and, and come back when you've done it. Alright, so what does this package contain? Well, it contains all the Minecraft textures and J JSON files and stuff like that. It contains the prefabs that you're going to need, and it contains all of the scripts that you're going to need. Also, along with all of the standard asset packages you want, you will probably want a little later. Let's so go ahead and import that. Okay, so our package is imported, and it's fairly simple. So you have your Minecraft textures, you have your prefabs, your scripts, your standard assets, and the textures that we're going to be using today. Now, this package, again, was not created by me. It was created by somebody else that I'll link in the description. I just updated it and get, got some new textures for it, and also, again, changed some code. And updated it for Unity 5.6. So that's what I did. I'll leave the old one in the description. The new one will be at the very top. So if you guys want to check him or his group out, then you can. Him, her, I don't really know. Now, let's go ahead and start by pulling in our world prefab. Now, what do we have here? Well, we have, for starters, we have our chunk prefab, which is very important. And our shaders is standard. And then we don't have a texture for it right now. And then we have our world textures that we'll be setting in just a minute. World texture atlas, which we don't need to worry about it. Our player, our sparks, and our world generation UI. Now, for right now, we don't need half of this stuff. For starters, we do need these textures. So let's set the size to 8, and let's go ahead and assign some things. Alright, so go ahead and find some textures. Now, if you don't, like for right now... If we kept these textures, it would look terrible, because everything would be water or nothing. So let's go ahead and change them. Now, how do we know what texture is what, and what goes to what? Well, there's a script in here that is called World Data. So right here, go ahead and open that up in Visual Studio, or whatever program you have. We'll be going over all of the code for the terrain generation in another video. For now, we're just going to be getting everything set up and then another video if you want to watch it you can but you don't really have to because it's not really necessarily essential to the series you can go and watch that separate video which will be in a couple of days now public class world data all of this stuff what is it for well currently if we go down here to set block uv coordinates we can see we have the block type of soil now our block types if we go under our scripts let's find them real quick our scripts our terrain and block, if we open that up, we can see this is our block. So this is where you create your new block and stuff like that. So we have topsoil, which equals 0, dirt equals 1, light equals 2, lava equals 3, leaves 4. And this is an enum. So we can always use this as block type. So block type dot topsoil, block type dot lava, block type dot air, anything like that. And basically, we're setting those block types in here. And so what are these? Basically, this is the UV coordinates. So 0, 5, and 1, and that coordinates to our images over here. So under our world prefab, 0 would be topsoil 0. Okay? 
And same thing with everything else. Six and seven would be seven and six here, right here. See? So that's what it that's what it means when it when it says that, alright? So that's how we can know what textures are what by looking at our texture coordinates. So stone is six, so we could go in here and go ahead and find our stone texture and assign that to six. Seven is our log. Five is our uh, grass on the side. Four is leaves, which are very important. One is dirt. And zero is just the normal grass on the top. Alright, so that's that. And element three, which isn't in here, well, is lava. And, well, if you want to, you can assign that as lava, but right now, it's not really in the game yet, so we can save that and assign that as our Minecraft. Cool. So that now that that's done, we can go ahead and press play. Actually, no, we can't. We still have to assign our character. Character controllers, first person controller, drag that in, and under our world prefab, assign our player to that. Now, our sparks don't really need to be assigned, and our world texture atlas doesn't really need to be assigned. Now, if you do press play right now, let's uh, go ahead and grab him, grab him, game object, move to view, and move him fairly up a bit. There we go. Save that. Now, right now, if we play this, it's going to take like two minutes to play. So, uh, it takes a while to load. It takes about two minutes to load your your scene. So that's basically, right now, as you can see, it's not playing yet. It's because it's loading it. It's generating the terrain, as in every other game. It has to have load at the beginning, and depending on the game, it takes a longer time to load, and for the, in this case, it's going to take about one to two minutes to finish loading, and then you have to, then after that, you can start playing it. Now, unfortunately, right now, our textures, for some reason, didn't work out very well. Some of them worked well, like this stone, as you can see, for some reason, there's that weird light that we can fix in a minute. There's this dirt that worked well, okay. There's a stone that worked well, fairly alright. But the log in the grass, for some weird reason, didn't turn out okay. Now, why is that? So, what we can do in this case is go through and see why it isn't working. So, Texture Atlas needs textures to have readable flag. So... That is probably the, probably the reason, but um, that's probably the reason for this, uh, for this weird texture. So let's go ahead and fix that. Now, one thing I forgot to check on some of my textures is this read, write, enable. If that's off, it won't really necessarily work. So make sure that's on, and also generate mint maps, so which should probably be off, so that it does not blur, so that it's not a blurry texture, and that way it just looks cleaner, right? So let's go ahead and play it again and see what happens this time. Alright, so as you can see, checking that checkbox fixed it. Now, this light thing is really weird, right? To fix that is very simple. Now, also, one other thing. There's this giant wall here, and it's not really sure why. Now, we can fix that some other time. It doesn't really need to be fixed today. Because today is just our basic generation, and when you spawn in, just know that that wall is always going to be there, but if you travel in the other direction, and the world does eventually end, but that's okay. Alright, now, we'll fix that later, but for now, the lighting looks absolutely terrible, right? So, what we need to do is go ahead and rotate this sun until it's just like that. There we go. As you can see, this weird thing is still here, but it makes it seem much better with the light. And you can change the intensity to whatever you like. That much looks rather good. And there we go, there's our ter terrain generation, and we can copy this, unplay, paste it, and we're all good. Now, that's that. That is our basic Minecraft world generation, right? It's, it's pretty cool. Now, it let's, to show you that it generates differently every single time, let's go ahead and play it again. And also, if you haven't noticed, our player falls through the world when we play. And it's really weird, right? 
So how do we fix that? Well, we fix that by having a pause screen, but for now, let's go ahead and create a new C Sharp script in a folder called player. Now for now, we create this in here, C Sharp script, and we're gonna call it player spawn. And we're gonna go ahead and open that up in Visual Studio. All right, so now that we have it open in Visual Studio, we can go ahead and start our script. Now to stop our player from falling way through the world, we can do this in our update function, actually in our start function, we're gonna go ahead and turn off everything for our player, okay? So we're gonna do this, we're gonna say public, and we go to our player here, we can see that our player has a character controller. We're gonna turn that off. So public character controller, and we're gonna call that controller. Okay, cool. Now that character controller, character controller, is equal to this dot game object dot get component character controller. Right. That's what that's equal to. Whoop. Controller is equal to that. Sorry about that. Controller. Cool. Now, that's that, right? Okay, so in our update function, what we can do is say if input dot get key down, get key down, key code dot escape. Now, at that point, we can go ahead and turn our controller back on dot enabled equals true and also we're in the start function we're going to set controller to be off okay so that's our basic function now when we play this our character won't fall through the world now currently this won't work because we haven't assigned the script yet so go ahead and unplay and play it again once you've assigned the script now really quickly this is a very interesting generation that i just now found very cool indeed. I'm going to go explore this real quick. Now, they're very, very different from our other terrain generation. Now, also, one other thing. Make sure you delete your other main camera once you've pulled your main camera in. Reason being for because it generates two chunks. Or, well, two... It, it generates two areas. So, if you didn't know, Minecraft in... Unity, this one too, and in the actual game, is generated in chunks. So, it's generated in chunks. So, it generates 16 blocks by 16 blocks, and usually by like 74 blocks down, really 64 blocks down, and it generates 1, and then it generates 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and that's how it gets its randomness. So, it generates 1 chunk random, 2 chunks random, 3 chunks random, and it connects them all together. And that's what makes it so that you can walk and it generates another chunk. When you've reached the end of the world, it'll generate another chunk. And then when you've reached the next end, it generates another chunk. And then so on and so on. So we can keep walking in this direction. And we come to the Far Lands, right? And this is an actual thing in Minecraft. It's a, it was a th something that was in, uh, in Minecraft until about version 1.3. I don't really remember. But... It was a, a real problem that they didn't really know how to fix it until much later. So we'll fix that problem much sooner than they did, but it'll happen. Now, it doesn't, right now, it doesn't generate more chunks after the main chunks have been generated. So we'll fix that again in another tutorial. But right now, we're just going to get our survival create our survival mode done. So that'll be in the next three tutorials. So today is just basic generation, basic basics of all the textures and stuff like that really quickly gonna show off the script that we made so now we start off and you can see our entire world and it's still generating actually I, I can see the chunks generating so it does work the chunks do generate just fine it generates many of them as you can see it's generating them now as you can see it generates them right over that way where my mouse was pointing and so it does generate in a bigger view but you have to be up higher unfortunately so we press escape and we start and fall to our doom which is okay and that's the start of the game so that is it for this tutorial guys our spawning script work works 
our spawning script works, we got the terrain generation done, we got all our textures in, and for the next tutorial, we're going to be creating more decorations and more blocks. So like more different types of trees and different things like that. And also, in another separate video that will go out at the same time as this one, I'll be explaining how it all works. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.